Professionality and corporate culture are xenophobic and in turn racist. Corporate culture, professionality, they have nothing to do with whether you're actually friendly to someone. It has to do with wording things a certain way, carrying yourself a certain way, having a certain look on your face, walking a certain way, talking a certain way, using specific words, using specific phrases. And if you have a hard time doing that, you're considered unprofessional. The culture that is the most compatible with corporate culture and professionality is white culture. But it's as fake as going to Texas and hearing someone say, well, bless your heart. It's as fake as the way people acted in the movie Demolition Man. If you haven't seen that movie, I highly recommend it. You've got to just say all these certain things, do all these certain things this certain way, or you're not really professional. And in turn, you get this idea that you're not really a good person or that you're lazy, or that you're stupid, if doing those things is difficult for you. So if you come from a culture that is kind of the opposite of doing those things, um, it's going to be difficult for you to get a job. That's just the plain truth of it. And some people think, well, that's the way it should be. People should... Uh, uh, be willing to do that and be that way. And it's just like, look, I would rather someone, if I walk into a store, I would rather someone say, yo, what's up? How's it going? Than for someone to put on a fake smile and go, hi, how are you today? You know, that persona that I put on in some of my, some of my videos, that persona is all about the fakeness that exudes from professional culture, corporate culture. And some people are so engrossed in that kind of culture that they've adopted it as their own. and actually have it in their mind that, well, when you act this way, that's what being educated is. That's what being a reasonable person is. It's some of why the whole politically correct thing takes off so well, because it's kind of intertwined with that. Even in the way that people walk, I'm just thinking about the way that people walk. It's as if, you know, if you want to be professional, you have to walk in a way as if the person who first taught you to walk is standing behind you at all times with a whip ready to whip you. You got to put looks on your faces that don't represent how you feel. You've got to be as fake as possible. Because, you know, that's what being professional is. It's why it, it just, it just, I'm sorry, it irritates the fuck out of me when people will feel that they, they can have to continue to be that way outside of work. You know, the people that will go grocery shopping in a suit and tie. It's like, really? Do you, do you have any other mode than that? And some people don't. And the sad thing is that people even have to have different modes. It's like a lot of people live 
totally separate lives. There's their work life and there's their real life. And people have to break up their time. Well, you know, during these hours of this day, I can I can be myself for this little little period of time, this little sliver of time. And then we wonder why so many people are so have so much pent up anger. <clears throat> And then I think more about things that make us xenophobic and, in turn, racist. The war on drugs is xenophobic and racist. Alcohol is the drug of choice for those that live their lives based on being professional. Other people from other cultures, different drugs, are more of a match to their culture. But we can't have that. You must be a part of this professional corporate culture. Let's go into uh, appearance, okay? In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something here real quick. Let's see if it lets me do it quickly or not. It does. Okay. Uh, video capture. Let's move this over. And, uh, okay, let's look at this. This is a search that I did for uh, black female news anchors. Do you find anything in common with, with these? Do you see anyone who truly has their natural hair? This person, you know, that's curly, but that is not natural uh, afro hair. Find anything? Still looking. Well, find anything? Do you see anything there that represents uh, natural black beauty? Anything that, that has to do with uh, black beauty standards at all, anywhere in any of those pictures? No. No, you didn't. Because corporate culture is the culture that is essentially racist. And the fact that so many people are unaware of this sort of thing, and the, re the fact that some people will just defend this sort of thing, makes people think that you're racist. When you defend that, people are going to assume you're racist. You may not be racist. You may just not realize the extent of this sort of thing. Ever wonder why uh, black men who are in customer service or professional positions are so obsessively immaculate about their appearance? Ever wonder that? Do you, do you really think that's just something that's just a part of their culture? No. It's because if they are not completely immaculate, they get looked at the same way that uh, they're looked at when there are, just take any video on YouTube that, ha that features a black person who is slightly uh, unkempt, and look at the comments that you'll see, okay? Corporate culture, since corporate culture is about not being honest, it's about carrying yourself and looking and acting a certain way. Corporate culture certainly is not going to be blunt about what they think of people. Because that would be unprofessional, right? But any, any black man who isn't completely immaculate 
will be looked at as lazy, as... Just think of some of the worst racist statements someone could make about someone. You know, think about someone making the comment, porch monkey, or something on that order. Heck, just even look at, look at what people say about Michelle Obama. And people aren't chastising that kind of mindset. Not really. Maybe on a personal level. But this sort of thing, we don't even, people don't even address within corporate culture. So, <clears throat> the types of things that a lot of those who are trying to talk about racism in America uh, point towards are just kind of, you're, you're sidestepping the real issue. The, side, the, the issue is corporate culture, professionality, all of that shit. It's not, uh, you know, this all, all white people are racist or, or you're racist if you uh, 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 do cultural appropriation or and none of that shit. None of this stuff that, that, that some of the people from BLM, none of this shit that the, the social justice warriors are saying, none of that shit. The problem is what we view as being professional. The problem is corporate culture. These are the problem. Or the major problem. That and police culture. And so many of you just sort of look, well, you know, uh, profession, that's, that's what professional is and don't speak against that because, because why? Why shouldn't we speak against that? Shouldn't customer service be about just being decent to a customer? If you don't use the this exact certain wording, I mean, what's wrong with coming up to someone? Yo, what's up? How's it going? What's wrong with that? Well, it's unprofessional. Oh, that's nice. So people have to pretend they're from a particular culture in order to be considered professional, right? It's, it's just disappointing. It's kind of depressing. And it wasn't something I really, really gave that much thought about until last night. And it just kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. And I was like, wait a minute. So, yeah, I guess I don't know what more to say now. <laughs>